esteemed chancellor of galgotia university shri sunil galgotia ji eminent vice chancellor professor malikarjun babu and other eminent members of the board of governor distinguished members of the faculty and dear students a very warm namaskar to all of you as a very auspicious occasion i am truly honored to be present at such a momentous occasion in the lives of this class of 23 and i am really grateful to the vice chancellor for the kind introduction uh, at this age uh, even rolling stones gather a lot of moss so a lot of moss has got collected which you just read out uh, however uh, i am very delighted to see the accolades the achievements of this very young university especially in the field of innovation the research and as i was discussing with the strategy team of uh, the university the manner in which the pedagogy is being renovated innovated being changed and being made more if i may call it within quotes market friendly friends it's a uh, it gives me immense pleasure to be present at this momentous occasion of your life's journey graduating is perhaps a very important and a very memorable milestone in the lives of each and every student who passes out and i heartily felicitate you on completion of this very crucial step of your respective academic journeys many of you are graduating some of you are completing your post graduation and few are also obtaining phd's and diplomas some of you have won gold medals but all of you are going to win many medals in course of your lives as you go along i am indeed and i must repeat be honored to be present on this momentous occasion and i thank the chancellor vice chancellor for inviting me and especially dr prabhat kumar ji and renu ji for uh, motivating me to remain present friends uh, this milestone really is a beginning of a long journey of attaining knowledge skills and attitude some of which you have gained here more you will gather as you go along in life there is an occasion to celebrate it's a very joyous occasion please celebrate this attainment to your heart's content however let this celebration also reflect a sense of gratitude gratitude to your teachers and institution that shaped your scholastic journey so far gratitude to your friends your parents family and friends gratitude to your communities that you lived in and above all gratitude to your country this would imbue you with a sense of doing something for them while you scale your personal summits of life which many of you are doing it already as respected vice chancellor just mentioned while most of you are waiting to receive your medals prizes degrees however uh, i cannot resist the temptation to share certain insights into the world of today with the young minds that are going to shape the country and the world of tomorrow world society and very specifically the indian society has become very aspirational it has learned to break 
the glass ceilings that often mentally set the limits to our achievement. It reflects in Indians from most ordinary backgrounds now heading global corporations whose sizes often exceed the GDP of even large nations. I need not name the people, there are multitudes of them. Products of our society are now the thought leaders in the world. In this scenario, you embark your journey into a very heady world, where sky is the limit for you. Hunger for knowledge and skills and a sense of service would be very useful partners in this journey. However, friends, greed, ego, yearning for, com for comfort are dangerous companions. Please avoid them. As you move on in your professional lives, let me also share with you certain broad economic trends that are shaping up the world and would continue to shape in years to come, as I see it. Post-pandemic, it's been a very uncertain world in more ways than one. Advanced economies are no longer shining as brightly as they did earlier. China also is in a slowdown. That changes the scenario of the world. Certain flashes could turn into raging fires as well. That adds uncertainty and you have to learn to contend with them. However, leadership of advanced economies are now becoming more inward, looking more insular, giving chances for the developing nations to perhaps take the world leadership and that's where you people would count. However, technology continues to be the biggest disruptor or shall I say biggest transformer. It's a cliche. AI, ML, especially generative AI recently has really arrived. The graphic processing unit GPUs have hugely supported the machines in becoming more intelligent in future. Quantum computing would transform computing in a manner in which most of the machines work. This has also catapulted robotics. If you look around, you will see proliferation of huge amount of physical infrastructure be it roads, expressways, metros, airports, seaports. This has helped place India in the center of global supply chains. If that is that be so, then you also have to learn to become a global citizen. Learn to understand other cultures, mix seamlessly with people around the globe and I am very glad to note very large number of foreign students here, which gives the domestic students a flavor of a very, very multicultural setup. These, of course, have also opened, this opening up to global supply chain have opened up vast opportunities in logistics, manufacturing, housing, and defense. Secondly, public digital infrastructure has been India's most significant achievement. This started almost more than two decades back with opening up of, uh, or rather reopening of the telecom sector and has significantly provided the country with achievement in the form of some of the most efficient public financial infrastructure. Just for better understanding, most of you use UPI and the product based upon it. And perhaps it's one of the most 
competitive, one of the best financial switch that world has seen to date. Its usage shows it. The amount of usage of digital payments has really changed the world and rural areas for poor across the entire country and is threatening to change and around the world as well. Be the leaders of tomorrow, be in the corporates, be in teaching, be in public services or in politics. We would be looking up to you to carry the country on your shoulders because you are the ones who are going to take the country on your shoulders past the portals of Vixen Bharat. I would now conclude by quoting few lines from who else but a poem of Gurudev, Rabindranath Tagore. I will take the liberty of uh, saying it in the language that he wrote, that is Bangla, and I will translate it for you. Quote, Hoyo dharmet dheer, Hoyo karmet dheer, Hoyo unnoto shir nai bhoy, Sate ache bhagavan hobe joy. Unquote. Let me translate. Be steadfast in your duties. Be fearless in your endeavor. Hold your head high and remain without fear. Let God be with you. Victory would be yours, certainly. I congratulate you once again and thank the institution for having me with you on this very important occasion. Thanks and Jai Hind. Namaskar. Thank you so much, Chakravarti, sir, for those nuggets of wisdom.